Hi Aquarius, it's Joe from Angels and Ancestors and Darlings. This is your What the Fuck reading, 6th to the 12th of September. Um, there aren't any announcements apart from watch out for the announcement on the community page about me doing live at the end of the month. And I'm hoping that's going to be the start of me doing a lot of lives for you. Um, take what you can from the reading. They are general readings. So they're not going to ring true to everybody, but just use what what resonates with you positively and that will be just fine. For those of you that are new to the channel, welcome. Hit the like button if you like what I do. Hit the subscribe button and the notification button so that you know when I'm putting things up. For those of you that are returning, such a warm welcome. You know I've had a few weeks off. I feel really rejuvenated and quite well. Um, so yeah, I'm just, that was the right thing for me to do at the time. Darlings, there is a problem with subscriptions at the moment. The notification bells don't seem to be working. If you're not getting notifications, please unsubscribe and resubscribe and then hit the bell again. And hopefully that will sort things out. Also be aware that there is um, a lot of scammers out and about pretending to be readers. The only way you can get a private reading with me is through Angels and Ancestors 7 um, Angels and Ancestors at gmail.com uh, That is my official um, email, email address um, if anybody else comes on offering you it through Messenger, um, through Facebook, any other media, that I don't offer readings that way at all. And I would never approach you for a reading. You have to approach me. So, Jones, let's get an energy card for you, Aquarius. Thank you. Oh, nice. Aquarius, you've got earth magic, darlings. You are feeling the magic coming up from the earth and if you're not feeling it take your socks and bloody shoes off and go and stand on some lush grass or some sand and just feel the magic coming up from the earth it is there for you to harness wow nice It may be that you're just beginning to learn about some earth magic. Now that would be nice, wouldn't it? So we have what started your what the fuck, and I have to say, as soon as I put that down, that's been out in the same position for several of the other readings. I think one was Libra, I don't know, it might have been Gemini, and one of the fire signs as well got that. So facing your fears... And taking your power back for Aquarius, please. 6th to the 12th of September. How are they going to face their fears and take their power back? Oh, Aquarius, you always do this to me. I'm not taking that many, darling. Blood, yeah, well, there's about 10 cards there. How in... Thank you. All right, okay, I get the picture. Manifestation and wish fulfillment. Your movement, your journey, where the fuck you need to be. Okay. What you can do about the situation. What is going on with you? What is out of Aquarius's hands? Thank you. Reconnecting to their true selves. And the outcome for Aquarius, please. This is the first messy reading I've had. Thank you. 
So, darlings, what started your what the fuck is the moon? Now, I'm clearly getting that you're asking for some illumination or clarification, the same as, I think it was Libra, um, around an issue or an, a problem that you may have. You may be looking at it and thinking that it's very distorted when in actual fact the illumination may show that there is a truth in the distortion. Be careful. Be very careful. It will illuminate for you a way forward. It will illuminate a pathway forward for you. Heed what it's telling you. Go with your intuition. The moon will get your intuition spiked really high and make sure that you know that whatever is being downloaded to you, whatever your gut feeling is, that that is what they're trying to tell you. That initial pang that you get that something is right or wrong, that's what they're telling you to go with. So facing your fears and taking your power back. Don't this something about a reminiscence or a reconnection with somebody from the past? It could be that something is ruining its head from the past or it could be a reunion from somebody from your childhood. Um, darlings, just know that this is not a bad card. If you have got to face a fear from your childhood to stop it from having a detrimental effect on your future, then face that fear. Take the power back. Let me tell you, when you face negativity and you embrace it, you take its power away from it. Um, so know that that is facing your fears and taking your power back. You will then walk into your future feeling completely different. So your manifestation, your wish fulfillment and why it may be fucked. Darling, you're manifesting the Ten of Pentacles. You want this happy family. You want this um, family that is doing well, that is um, making uh, money, making homes, making um, settled um, lifestyles. There could be a little bit of a hiccup by an older person needing some comfort or recuperation after not being well. Or it could be that there is a youngster about to fledge or go to university Whichever way it is, the, the family will come together. A 10 will say that this is a completion of your family. It then adds up to a 1, which is a new beginning for you and your family. And again, family, you know what I say, it doesn't have to be blood. It can be the people that you choose to have around you. You also have the 3 of Wands. You are manifesting something from abroad. It could be goods. It could be a person. But you are looking out overseas. Um, I don't know whether you're waiting for something to get off that boat or whether you're thinking of jumping on the boat. You've got the Queen of Famous. Now, she is a no-nonsense queen. She will cut out what no longer serves her. And as an air sign, you get this. You get about getting stuck in your head, in your thoughts, um, and having to go over and over and over a situation until you decide that it no longer serves you. And sometimes, air signs, it can take us years to get rid of something, but once we've got rid of it, there is no fucking coming back. So no, if that's you, if you are cutting things out, be certain it's what you want to do. Be certain that... As you're manifesting the Queen of Athame is the only queen with a weapon, um, that it could be that you're manifesting your own intuition and your thought processes to be clearer and have more clarity with the moon card over here, right behind that, male or female, I have to say. And then right at the back, male or female, you have the King of Wands. Now, the King of Wands is fire signs, that is going to be Aries, Leo or Sagittarius, male or female. This person stands strong in the knowledge and the wisdom that they know that they've got it. They've got the projects and the plans. They know that they can make magic happen. They just wave that magic wand around. Um, they've got the fire for comfort. They're sitting comfortably in their chair and they know that they can make magic for you. I'm kind of getting that. I heard fanning the flames with the air sign and then the fire sign i heard that you want to fan somebody's flames 
um, to get that passion and desire working for you. If that is your manifestation, keep going because it is pretty good, darlings. It really is. Wow. So your movement, your journey, where the fuck you need to be, you need to understand that this new beginning is for you. It's about gathering what it is that you want and to put into that chalice and let it overspill in order to attract a chalice that complements you, that doesn't contradict you, that isn't going to be identical to you. Identical is boring as shit. But know that as that chalice overspills and the sun is shining, that eternal water that is flowing will take you to exactly where you need to be. What you can do about this situation, you've got the green man, otherwise known as the fool. He takes risks because he does not know what the outcome will be. He has got no idea of, or perception of risk and harm because he's not been hurt. He's still going on his jollies. He's still having a dance around. He's still um, making merry. And that what they're saying is, is take a leap of faith. Take a leap of faith. And right in behind that, you have another king. This is a water sign. Cancer, Scorpio or Pisces. Now this king for me, he drives me up the wall because I'm not over keen on the king of chalices, I have to say. He's this creature who raises a glass to you, will sit at a table and honour you. But he'd be fucked if he's going to tell you how he feels. Male or female. They all stand in this energy. Um, their heart's in the right place. Um, but they do tend that if they have been hurt in the past, they kind of like pass that over to other people. So now if you're dealing with a water sign, um, that you may need to take a leap of faith on knowing how they feel about you rather than them telling how they feel because they're just not ready to do it. They're just not ready to do it. So it's a chance that you may have to take, darlings, but they are saying take the leap of faith because that's your chalice. That that is your new beginning. And although you're you want the passion and the desire um, you're also looking at the emotions running very deep. So deep it's almost freaking buried, to be perfectly honest. That's where the earth magic is coming in. What's out of your hands? The wheel of the year. So no luck that's on your side. There is something that is turning. Do not hurry it. Do not rush it. Do not go through the seasons to get somewhere um, that you're going to end up anyway. Know that when you get the wheel of the year, you're exactly where you're supposed to be at this time. And that will just keep going. Don't spin that wheel. Don't try to get ahead too quickly. The universe is holding on to this for you at the moment. They're, they're allowing the wheel to turn. But they want you to understand about filling this chalice up and understand about this illumination and the distortion. Because I'm getting that the distortion is what you think is the truth at the moment and it's going to be shown to you that it's not. And that's why you're going to need to refill your chalice. Everything is on your side. The universe is on your side. Everybody is making sure that, that wheel is turning at the right speed and not spinning out of control. So, my darlings, reconnecting to your true self. Look at this. This is the two of chalices. This is a celebration of partnerships. Now, I would say to you, it could be a business partnership. It could be a partnership with a brother or a sister. But I am getting that you work best when you are in an equal, caring, loving and giving partnership now it could be a business partnership but i am definitely getting with the ace of chalices and the king of chalices that you are moving 
towards the two of chalices and it could be Aquarius that you have got strong water elements within your birth chart so just know that you because you work so well within a good strength partnership that that's what you're heading towards and I don't like to say this darlings but you have the earth mother as your outcome and what I heard was was that there's going to be pregnancies really and um, the earth mother is this nurturer this life giver she's got the cornucopia everything is abundant she's got little ones around her feet she's got the growth of the corn in the field she's got the staff that she um, can make magic with this is the fertility and normally I wouldn't be the one to say oh it's fertility there's going to be a pregnancy normally I would say there's lots of different types of fertility it could be arts it could be crafts it could be writing it could be the written word it could be a load of different things that you are fertile about but I distinctly heard that there was going to be the birth of a child that was going to be beneficial to both yourself and the world so just be aware of that it might not be directly um, attached to you um, but I am getting that it is going to um, bring you a lot of joy in the long run oh wow three kings in the same reading what's hidden from you is the king of pentacles he is a stable king he is a director or a ceo he's been it seen it done it he's bought the contracts in he knows how to do that he knows how to get the money um flowing he is looking out over his kingdom with great pride knowing that he is now in the position to offer out his knowledge and his wisdom even some sort of loan to get people up and started this king has a lot to offer however aquarius be aware male or female they may come across as being a tad boring to start with but they just may have some fire hidden away i'm getting that this particular king male or female is going to throw a spanner in the works as far as that king of chalices goes because in your manifestation you want the passion and desire what you can do about the situation is take a leap of faith around this king of chalices but what's hidden from you is this king of pentacles there is somebody new moving in towards you wow Aquarius that was a bit of a turn up for the books wasn't it three mm. okay my darlings let's ask the angels and ancestors for some knowledge wisdom and guidance for the 6th to the 12th of September for Aquarius please thank you anything else oh yeah nice little pile so the first ones that came out lovelies you have hermit retreat and recharge see that you have trader exchange energy to create abundance you have traveler move in a new direction protection guardian drop your shields this came out for all of the air signs stop being overprotective stop overthinking things it's okay to get things straight in your head but use your intuition more you are presenting as the queen of a theme is stargazer set your sights higher direction guardian choose your path so you've got the Traveller and the Direction Guardian. 
you have got the Lord. Take charge with authority, Aquarius, warrior. Be fearless and stand strong. You've got the Lord and the Lady in the same reading. But when it does, it's telling me that there is a power couple in the mix. And like the other ones as well, the other air signs, you've got the White Witch, Be the Light. Um, that goes with your earth magic, my darlings. Understand that if you see owls, it is telling you that the knowledge and wisdom that you already possess is going to serve you well. Lovelies, wherever you are in the world, please be safe and I will catch you in the next reading. Bye for now.